Hi, and welcome to the Comparison Bar Graph customization tutorial. Let's get started by going to our project panel. Go to the All Graphs folder, open that up, and let's go to the Comparison Chart folder, open that up, and double click to open the Comparison Bar Chart composition. And let's make that half resolution so we can see that a little bit better. Okay, so this is our render comp. Uh, you can render this composition if you wish to create just a comparison bar graph movie. So let's get started by looking in our timeline. Our first layer is a uh, control layer for our banner. And we have a few sliders here. Uh, we have uh, the width uh, banner for the right and the left side. So if you had a text layer that was longer than just the word men or women, you can use this uh, slider control to extend the length of that banner on both sides. And we also have a color control, a color picker, where you can change the color of that banner as well. So moving on, we have a camera. And if you hit U on your keyboard, you'll uh, bring up the keyframes for that camera. And uh, what that's doing is just rotating around that graph. Uh, you can manipulate that if you like. Our next layer is the main title text and to change any of the text areas you just double click on that text layer uh, you see it highlighted it becomes um, editable so you can um, type in your text and if we go to our character panel you can change the font the color and the size uh, for your main title text and we do have the all caps option selected if you deselect that your text will revert back to its original formatting. Um, so you can turn that off if you like. We're going to go ahead and leave that on. And as you can see in our title, we have a drop shadow applied. And that is actually a layer style. So if you uh, twirl down your text parameters and you go to uh, layer styles, uh, you can see our drop shadow. And you can change the color of that drop shadow here. You can change um, its distance or any of the other parameters for the drop shadow. And next we have our, uh, our other text areas. Again, you can just double click on those to change them. So let's get into our actual chart. We have a few bars here um, on the left side and on the right side. And ears are just comparing uh, the values for certain data sets. So our first one is, these are just made up. This is a uh, Facebook. Um, if you double click on this composition, you can change this icon uh, if you like. You can put something else in there. It doesn't have to be uh, these social icons. You can put anything you like in there. Um, really quickly, if you just wanted to put text in here instead of the icons, you can just turn those off and you can select your right side and left side and just push them out over and create a gap in between them go to your text uh, tool, select that, and then just type. And if you do end up putting in a text layer, just make sure that you make it a 3D layer by clicking this cube here. Um, turn on its motion blur and also parent it. You can grab this little pick whip right here to the master chart control uh, null layer. Let's get started with uh, how to enter your data for these bar graphs. You can double click on the enter comparison right side data uh, composition. You can also get to it um, in your project panel here. Double click to open that. And this works just like all the other bar graphs that we have in this template. All of our numbers have a suffix and a prefix. Um, and you can turn those off and on in our bar width spacing and symbol size control layer. Um, if you go to your effects controls, you can turn that suffix on or off. And some of these suffix layers, you may need to uh, select them and, and move them around. Um, if you want to change that suffix to something else, let's just say an M for some reason, uh, it will change. The, they are all connected through all the text layers for the suffix are connected through an expression. So all you need to do is change one layer and it'll change the rest of them. Uh, let's take a look at our enter data here control layer. If you hit U on your keyboard, that will bring up our keyframes. And um, all of these param all these bars are animated. So if you want to change your values, you'll need to double click on the second keyframe 
for each slider for each bar. So uh, the first one is answer bar data 01 and double click on that keyframe and you can change that value. And you can see our bar is updated and our number is as well. So you would just repeat that for each bar. And if we go back to our bar width spacing and symbol size, uh, you can, uh, you have a much more, you have some controls here that can change the look of this graph. So you can uh, mess with the bar width. You can change the spacing between the bars, make them closer together, further apart. You can change the number size. So you want to make those smaller or bigger. You can do that. And right now we only have five bars actually visible right now. So if you wanted, let's see, there we go. Let me show you the five that we have right there. If you wanted to turn on, there's actually, uh, you can have up to 10 bars. So if you hold down shift and click on bar six and turn on bar 10, you can just um, select all those and uh, click on the checkbox and they're all turned on. Then you want to change the spacing between those bars. There we go. Then probably the bar width, you want to make that a little bit smaller. And our next control layer is the bar and number colors. You can change our text and symbol color uh, with one color picker. There we go. And you can change all the bar colors here. Um, they all have their own individual colors right now. They're all the same just for the sake of uh, the preview, but you can actually make these different colors if you wish. 